Hi. Okay. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you have a special needs child, you don't know what to expect. The pregnancy with Leani, it was kind of hard when someone tells you she might have all these complications or might not even survive. Good job. And she came out perfect. <laughs> we have many parents like Gleani's mom who are essential workers. To be home full time with a special needs child puts an additional strain on the families. We have to keep providing as many services as we can during this time. We had to spend hours and hours and hours putting into play policies and procedures that were going to protect not only our staff, but our children and our families, our visitors and their families. Might look a little different, but we were there for you then and we're here for you now. We see Leanne, you know, four days a week, sometimes five. Mom can go to work full time. She's able to get nursing care and therapy care. Her brain is being stimulated as well as her muscles. The more we work on these pieces, the more she'll be able to communicate with others as well. She is able to move her head and move her arms, and she can throw things. In children like Leani, these are huge milestones. I have hopes for her to do everything that a child could do. Whenever she get there is when she get there. Even if I have to hold her for the rest of her life, I'm fine with that. As long as she healthy and happy, that's okay with me.